Did you know that monitoring the resting respiratory rate is a very effective tool for assessing the presence of congestive heart failure? The test is easy to perform, free of charge to the client, and it's an accurate adjunct tool in addition to thoracic radiographs. Monitoring the resting respiratory rate can help us detect the earliest clinical signs of congestive heart failure. This is Indy, and he's just come back from his walk. And as you can see, he's pretty excited. In order to take a resting respiratory rate, you'd want to let him calm down and settle in. And then you can take an accurate breathing rate. Right now, you can see he's playful, and it just wouldn't be a good time to take a resting respiratory rate. The best times to take a resting respiratory rate are when the pet is relaxing and unaware that the client is counting. Notice Indy here is very relaxed and calm. He doesn't need to be sleeping. He just needs to be relaxed and calm and resting as he is and he needs to be unaware that you're actually counting the breaths per minute. You can see that his chest is going up and down, and this is how we're gonna count the number of breaths. So get a stopwatch ready, and we're gonna count the number of breaths in 30 seconds, and once you get that number, we're gonna multiply that number by two. So to count the breaths, we look at his chest, and as it goes up and down, that equals one breath. Now that we know how to count the breathing, let's take a look at counting the number of breaths per minute. What we're going to do is count the number of the times the chest goes up and down. Reminder, that's one breath. We're going to count the number of breaths in 30 seconds and multiply that number by two. Okay, let's start counting. Up and down is one. Up and down is two. Up and down is three. That was four breaths. Up and down is five. Six. Seven. That was eight breaths. And that was nine breaths. Stop. He took nine breaths in 30 seconds. We multiply that number by two, and that gives us 18 breaths in one minute. The normal resting respiratory rate is 20 to 30 breaths per minute. It's not unusual for a particularly calm dog, such as Indy, to even have a lower resting respiratory rate, such as 18, and that's completely normal. Once we have his breaths per minute, we want to locate our diary, and then we want to record the date and the number of breaths per minute in his diary for that day. You can then take your diary with you at your recheck to your local veterinarians. Patients that go from having heart disease to heart failure have radiographic evidence of pulmonary edema in their lungs. However, the resting respiratory rate has been shown to be an excellent indicator of the onset of congestive heart failure. By having clients monitor the resting respiratory rate at home, this empowers them with a tool to use to help detect the early signs of congestive heart failure. Early detection of heart failure leads to early follow-up with the veterinarian. The veterinarian can confirm the diagnosis with thoracic radiographs at that time. Early diagnosis of congestive heart failure leads to early treatment, and early treatment may afford a better immediate prognosis for the patient. Monitoring the resting respiratory rate in patients that are stage C, those that have current or previous signs of congestive heart failure, may confer a better long-term prognosis. This occurs by enhancing client-veterinary communication so medication adjustments can be made.